A very warm welcome, dear friends. Let us continue the discussion of finite and non-finite verbs. As we all know, finite verbs indicate tense and non-finite verbs do not indicate tense. In the previous video, we understood root forms can act as both finite and non-finite verbs. Yes forms for third person singulars are considered as finite verbs. Let us move on for past tense form. This form of verbs can also be considered as finite verbs as they indicate tense. For example, Shreyesh told me about the tour. Sudha wrote a letter. Anantha died of cancer. He opened the gate. Told, wrote, tied, opened. They indicate tense. These verbs are in past tense forms. That's why these verbs are called as finite verbs. In Alku Udharanegalali, told, wrote, Died, opened, e kriyapadagulu, past tense rupadaliro darinda, yugalana, finite verb galante, pariganisabeku. Let us move on for another form of verb, past participle form. This form of verbs are non finite verbs. For example, he has written a letter, they had decided to play well, Mr. Ramesh has become a doctor. Americans had paid money. Written, decided, become, paid are in past participle form. They don't change if the tense of the sentence is changed. So they are considered as non-finite verbs. E udharanegalalli written, decided, become, paid. Yugalu past participle form alli rodhrinda vakkeda kalavanna vadalaisadaga Yaudai Badalavane Agadirodarinda Yugalu non finite Kriyapadagalagive Present participle forms. This form of verbs can be considered as non finite verbs. Base verb plus ing forms are always considered as non finite. For example, Manu is writing all the time. Don Anselmo was selling his property. He is reading novels. In these examples, writing, selling and readings are in present participle form. So they are considered as non-finite. Imuru kriya udhahar negalalli kriya writing, selling, mutu reading, yugalu non-finite kriya padagalagive. Infinitives. Infinitives are non-finites. For example, two infinitives or bare infinitives. He wished to come to the party. We watch it to learn grammar. The teacher made him learn English language. She made him cry. He can speak five languages. I will wait here. In these examples, you can see infinitive with two and bare infinitives. To come, to learn, learn, cry, speak and wait. These verbs are infinitives and they are considered as non-finite verbs. Let us sum up to your friends. Helping verbs am, is, are, was, were, do, does, did, have, has, had and models may, might, shall, will, should, must, can, could, would, etc. These verbs are finite verbs, whereas past participle form of verbs, present participle form of verbs, infinitives, root forms of verbs with helping verbs are non-finite verbs. Dear friends, let your students know the forms of verbs and they can easily identify if they know the function of the forms of verbs in a sentence, they can identify whether the verb 
is in finite or non-finite i hope this video is useful please share it thank you